if you're a, one of our children that's in the service, if you'll come down, the children that are in the service, would you come? What's your name? James Ross. James Ross. Summer. Summer. DJ. Say it again. DJ. EJ. DJ. DJ. All right. Caleb. Caleb. That's my son's name. Caleb. Israel. The country. Anias. Anias. (coughs) Joel. Joel. Got a question for you. You can ask me. What do you want to get for Christmas? What do you want to get? Who wants to go first? Uh, PS4. Gotta say, it, gotta say it loud enough so that all the way, Miriam, on that last row, raise your hand, Miriam. See him? He needs to hear what you want. A PS4. All right. A PS4. I'm way behind the times. I don't know what a PS4 is. It's a, oh, it's a PlayStation. Okay. Anybody else? If I, if I tell you, will you buy it for me? <laughs> Man, if I tell Man, you, will you buy it for you. me? He couldn't hear you. If I tell you, will you buy it for me? It depends. Depends on what? How much money Mr. Grant has. <laughs> what would you want? Hmm. I would want you to buy me whatever I want for a day. Oh. All right. I want a new dirt bike. You want a new dirt bike? Because my little brother broke it. Because my other one broke. The other one broke. Summer. Um, I want clothes and shoes. Want clothes and shoes. Nataki, are you listening? <laughs> shoes. Shoes? What kind of shoes? Jordan? Nike. Nike. Uh, who, who I didn't get? I didn't get you, did I? Sh- shoes. Shoes. Shoes are popular. Goodness. Is it what about you? A PS4. PS4, and you want the world. <laughs> All right. Whose son is this? Raise your hand, mother. Oh, grand nephew. Okay. All right, here's a tougher question. Are you ready for it? What are you going to give for Christmas? Now, we know what you want. But what are you going to give and to whom are you going to give it? All right, who wants to be first? All right. Love and affection to my mother. It's a setup. (laughs) What are you going to give? Oh, okay. The man who wanted the world. I will give somebody at home. Because when you don't know where you're going, you only got where you're from. Okay. Can you give them a home? Yeah, if I, if I work hard enough and get enough money. It, it could be anybody. It, could be, it doesn't matter who it is. It's who, it, who needs it. Okay. And there's, there's people that are not as gifted as everybody else. So they need more help than others. I see. What, what can you afford to give somebody? Like right now? Yeah, like right now. Food. Food. What kind of food would you give them? Uh, the food they need, not the food they want, because huh, you're going to be fat. <laughs> what would you give? I, I would give my family money. Are you going to give your family money? Yeah. 
How much money are you going to give them? Mm, how much do they want? Who's your family? <laughs> how much money do you want? Uh, I want a couple of million. She wants a couple of million. What do you say? Okay. Okay. Anybody else? What are you going to give? Money. Uh, I want to give money. All right. First thing I'm going to give it. If I give everybody else something, I'm going to give my mama a house. Yeah. My mama a new house. No, she got a house. They couldn't hear you. Bishop Smith said they couldn't hear you. First thing I'm going to give is my mama a house. Okay. Give him a hand. Take a seat on the steps. Take a seat on the steps. Teenagers, come forward. If you're not sure if you're a teenager, just ask the person seated in front of you. Give them a hand as they come. Name is Chris. Yeah, Chris. Right. Give Chris a hand. Jasmine. Jasmine. All right. Pretty name. Anaya. Anaya. Chandler. Chandler. Neasia. I heard they had to call the fire department last week. <laughs> that she's been keeping things from her bishop and. A singer. Yeah. All right, what's your name? Layana. Layana. It's a pretty name. Thank you. Alex. Alex? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ashley. Ashley. Aaron. Larry. Xavier. Giovanni. Giovanni. Okay. Dine. What do you want to get for Christmas? Nothing, right? Okay, Larry. Some shoes. Some shoes. Shoes are really popular. Man, I don't know. Yeah. A MacBook and Apple Watch. A map. A map. A MacBook. A MacBook. And a Apple Watch. And an Apple Watch. Wow. Anybody else? Yeah. All right. Mom. 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 Wake up, mom. Okay, listen, mom. Okay. I want an iPad. I want shoes. I want gift cards. Money. Um, Bath and Body Works stuff. Um, new shoes. You listen? Okay. Um, and that's it. Mom, she wants a department store. What do you want? Just shoes. Just shoes. And money. Okay. And money. How much money? Um, I don't know. A lot. A lot though. A lot. <laughs> I don't know that amount. Good thing you got her as a coach. <laughs> I was getting ready to give you some money. <laughs> what do you? Shoes. What kind of shoes? Off whites. Oh, I want a black Jeep. So that's why Pastor Reeves got out of town, huh? A black Jeep. Are you from a 1902 black Jeep? It doesn't have to be current, does it? I just want a car. Just want a car. Yeah. Backed away from the Jeep. 
got yours already. What's yours, Ashley? Um, shoes and clothes. Shoes and clothes. What kind of shoes? Like Jordans and yeah. Okay, Aaron. Um, shoes and an iPad. Shoes and an iPad. Wow. Xavier. Shoes. Shoes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you say, bro? I'm already grateful. <laughs> so, you don't want nothing? Me neither. I don't want nothing either. Are your parents in? They couldn't hear you. Oh, no. Nah, I'm already grateful. I don't want nothing. You don't want nothing? Nah. He's already grateful and don't want nothing. Does anybody want to adopt him? <laughs> you trade, huh? What about you? I don't want nothing. You don't want nothing either? Man, that's great. No, I do. What you want to know? I, I, I want, um, you I want to... I want a pink iPad, I want Balenciaga track runners, and I want shoes and clothes, and I want Victoria's Secret perfume and lotion, and a candle, candles. Thank God for fathers, huh? Here's a tougher question. What, what are you going to give? What are you going to give? Not 20 years from now, not 30 years from now, but this Christmas, because the things that you talked about are things you want now. Is that right? So, what are you giving now? All right, well, I can't say much, but I'm going to give everyone in my family a gift this year, and I'm going to treat my, my mom and my stepdad to a, a special date on Christmas, after Christmas. All right. Special date. McDonald's or Burger King? No. I see, I see. No, they're going to go to a fancy dinner, and I'm going to just say it, but a fancy dinner and a spa day. Ooh. Spa day. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. Dad, you, you go to the spa? <laughs> Anybody else? What are you going to give? All right. So, so I'm going to give my parents a gift, appreciation. So, my parents been working hard, so I'm just gonna give them a gift for Christmas. Mm. So, my, so I'm gonna give my mom a neck pillow because she's been working hard a lot, and I'll give my dad some new shoes. Shoes are pretty popular. I don't think you can miss giving shoes. Okay, so I'm gonna say what I'm gonna get my stepdad since he's not here. Um, Ed, okay, edit it out, y'all. Okay, so. <laughs> Adana said it this out. He's coming. Ashley? Um, um, I'll just get, like, my family a gift. I'll probably, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know like, what you want, but not what you want to get. Because I have to think about it. Because, okay. like, I know what I could get. But, like, I could get my mom a purse, but, yeah, I don't know yet. I have to think about it. Um, I'm going to give my parents a gift. You know what it is? Um, I was, I'm going to get my dad, I'm going to make him a mug in, some, in my art class, and my mom, I can't say it, because she's right there. Got big ears. Yeah. Okay. Larry, what are you going to get? I'm going to give my mother a gift card and just my company on the holidays. <laughs> Xavier? Um, love and appreciation. Did we miss anybody? Ah, oh, Chandler. Um, I don't want to say too much, but um, Just I was say okay. I was gonna use um some money I should be getting soon <laughs> to get my mom and my brother 
a gift. <laughs> You'll never know. I'm not telling you. You just gotta wait and see. No. Anybody else want to? Chris? <laughs> Good behavior. Go on, I got more, I got more. Good grades. Good grades. Did you all hear hers? I said good grades. All right. You bring your Bibles? Grab your Bibles and come back. Grab your Bible and come back. Everybody got their Bible? All right. This is a true story. When I was in the seventh grade, first, another little piece you should know. I come from six brothers and sisters total, including myself. There were six of us. My mother and father were divorced when I was in the fourth grade. And so my mother pretty much cared for the six of us um, and tried to provide. One Christmas, I woke up, went downstairs. My mother was crying. And I had never seen her cry before. So I said, what's the matter? What her concern was is that she was overwhelmed with the expenses that were involved with Christmas. She wanted to get all of us the things that we wanted to get and so forth. I made a decision right then and there that I would work and provide as much as I could possibly provide so that she wouldn't have to. Now that wasn't what gave me my conviction about Christmas. Most of you probably wouldn't want to be my child um, because in our family, we recognize that Christmas is none of our birthdays. It's Christ's birthday. How would you feel, let me just ask you, if we celebrated your birthday and everybody got a gift but you? How would you feel about that? That'd be cool. We throw a party. We have a big party and everything else, and everybody gets a gift, and there's lights and cameras and singing and songs and festivities and so forth, a big dinner. And the person whose birthday it is, no one acknowledges. How would you feel about that? You'd be mad. Yeah. I have a feeling that there's some jealousy in heaven that takes place in the way that we do things. But this morning, I haven't rose to try to convince you that you should celebrate Christ's birthday only, because most of you want gifts, and if you didn't get those gifts, you'd be brokenhearted, and so forth. What, what I did do with my children was to say, you got to find a way to give a gift to Christ, some kind of way that shows that you're appreciative. Take a look at Psalm 116. By the way, you can find Psalms by turning to the middle of your Bible. Just open to the middle of your Bible and you'll be at Psalms. preaching. I'm, I'm in the middle of a great sermon, so hope you, hope you haven't got lost in it. Got it? Got it, Chris? 116? Great. How y'all doing? Now do me a favor. 
turn around and help them. I'm really preaching now. Israel, you got it? He's got it? Person next to him? All right. He's going to own the world. So, got to be sure you got it. All right. Here's a verse, a Christmas verse. Verse 12. Somebody who gets it, read it for me loud and clear. Got it? All right. You said 12, right? Verse 12. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? Mm. Read that again. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? Has God been good to you? Yes. Yeah. In what ways, you're like teenagers and so forth, has God been good to you? I need Mike, somebody. God been good to me because I wake up every morning with a roof over my head. Man. Somebody else, how has God been good for you? Been good to you? I agree with you, brother. Every morning that I wake up, when I go to bed at night, you wouldn't believe the kind of prayer that I pray, that I'm aware that anything could happen during the night. Hurricanes, airplane fall out of the sky, earth open up from a manhole, and so forth. Thieves, robbers, fire, carbon monoxide, and I'm saying, God, keep me, keep my family, keep my children from all, as the old folks used to say, hurt, harm, or danger. Amen. We give you that as a Christmas gift. Good, solid prayer. Yes. Uh, he allows me to have transportation to go places. He allows you to have transportation to go places. You click into hers. She wants the car and the transportation to go places. Yeah, he does. He does. How has God been good to you? I wake up every, every day, so I guess I am blessed. Yeah. Okay, he removed all the wrong people from my life and filled it with like good people. He keeps you like mentally sane, no matter what I'm going through. Uh, oh. I said he keeps me mentally sane, no matter what I'm going through. Um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the job he um, provided me with, and I'm also grateful for a good education and also for my family. I'm grateful for him allowing me to have a family. You're grateful for him for allowing you to have a family. Father, mother? Yes. Amen. He provided me with a family that does for me even when I don't deserve. <laughs> Young people behind me. Ask them to come out front. Stand in front of me. Mike, bring me the bag. What shall I render? What shall I return unto God for all of his goodness to me? I don't know if you've ever asked yourself that question before. We're all pretty clear on what we want to get and what we need. But how do we say thank you? I want to suggest to you that Christmas is a great time to say thank you. It's something we should do every day, all the time. But when you're thinking about everything that you want to get, remember that it's not your birthday and that you want to express your appreciation to God for his goodness to you. For the team here, 
One of the things that I do is I save up change from the year to put into missions because lots of people have never heard the good news of Jesus Christ and his lordship. Ron's going to bring out the mission jars, and I want you to share with me my Christmas gift to Christ. Reach in the bag, pull out his, a handful of change, and put it in one of the bottles. Okay. Start with it. You next, Mike. Just go ahead to the next person. Go ahead. It seems like change and just, just change. But if you were to count it and add it up, it's quite a bit of money. And it gives me a chance to honor Christ, to say, here's what I do for you. Got everybody? A lot of times we're wasteful. We want to get it to Christ, to do something for God. We're not careful. But you did a great job today. That's the message. Take a look at it. Say it with me. Say it after me. What shall I return? What shall I return? To, the Lord, to the Lord. For all his goodness to me. Try it again. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? Try it one more time. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? I want to challenge everybody that's here to say, what will you return to the Lord for all of his goodness to you this year? Don't stretch out. Don't st get stressed out on the game. We've been bamboozled. We've been on a switch track. The first Christmas cost nothing but worship. That was all it cost was worship. The wise men were not at the at the first Christmas. You say they brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. They weren't there on Christmas night. They were there subsequently sometime after Jesus had become a child and was no longer in a manger, and so forth. The heavens open up. It was God's favor upon man, which was coming through Jesus Christ. And they went to see, and they praised God, and they spread the news about this child that was born. That's our task. Brother Strange is right on target, right over the target. We're to go and tell people that forgiveness is available for their sins. For the King of Kings has been born and he waits to forgive men of things that they've never been able to be forgiven before. The evangelism team is right over the target. The team that went out to, on Thanksgiving Day, Mark, you're right over the target. You're doing the kind of things, picking up children on Sunday morning, bringing them to Christ all over the city. You're right over the target. You're doing, what shall I render? What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? A pair of tennis shoes? Nice, nice gift and so forth, but not eternal. 
Amen. Amen. You feel me? So they gave you some options today. We, we, we uh, work with churches overseas, which the whole church is nothing but tree branches. No roofs, nothing, just tree branches. People get there and meet and worship. You can make a difference. The cost of a pair of shoes now would build a church. It's amazing. Well, that's a word. That's a word. Would you <clears throat> pray, at least right now, to ask the following, what shall I render unto the Lord for all of his goodness to me? What should I render? What should I return unto the Lord for all of his goodness unto me? I'd hate to think about his goodness to me. God is so good to me. So good. I'm so thankful and so glad to just be able to do anything for God. If you would think about it for a moment. Bow your head. Father, you see our youth. You see, our young adults, our children, change their lives from this year on that they would never be the same. They may receive gifts, but they are gift givers. Help them to realize that it's more blessed to give than to receive, that that's true. And it always will be true. Help every one of them to realize I want to give a gift this year. I want to be a blessing. I want to be known as a giver, not as a receiver. And when people receive, when give me and I do receive, I want to be grateful and thank God for his goodness. Understand? That's our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Take your seats. Thank you. Thank you.